Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a little update video on my square drop camper build. This is actually video 10 of the series and if you want to check out some of the other videos I'll have a link to a playlist down below in the video description. If you'd like to be like these cool people please consider hitting the join button and becoming a channel member and help support the channel. And if you're wondering how I got from this to this, make sure you stick around to the end of the video and I'll show how I got it up on the trailer. Alright, enough gabbing. Let's cue up the clips. I'm getting ready to put my first coat of paint and primer on this thing. And if it looks a little shiny, it's because it's got uh, two coats of spar urethane. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to tape off the door openings and window openings. And then I have to do a lot of sanding with a 120 grit disc. And that's basically to kind of rough up the spar urethane so that the paint will stick. There was a lot of sanding. Lots and lots of sanding. Did I mention there's a lot of sanding? But you can see here on this, uh, this is the door, the hatch, the galley. And uh, you can see how you have to scub it up and then wipe all the dust off so that the paint will stick good. And here I've started putting on the olive drab green paint. And uh, so basically you're watching paint dry here. This is the first of three heavy coats that I put on this thing and I still have a little bit of paint left but I'm going to save it for uh, you know doing any touch up and stuff because I'm sure I might uh, get some scuffed up places when I'm putting it up on the trailer. My plan to get this thing on the trailer was to take my little scissor jack which was about the only jack I had that would fit up under that uh, dolly system I was using because there was only about six inches of clearance there and just raise it up and put a couple of blocks under there and then move to the other side and put a couple blocks over there and just keep working my way up until I got it high enough that I could slide the trailer up underneath it. Now the trailer currently is about the height of it is about 20 to 21 inches and that's with the stock axle and the stock tires and I kept those on there I do have some larger tires and a beefier axle but I kept the stock stuff on there so that I wouldn't have to jack it up as high when I went to do this step here and put it on there but you see I'm getting it up on some blocks and getting it off of the dolly system and now I have to take the dolly system apart to be able to move it out of the way The way it's designed, the little furniture dollies just kind of slip off like that. And then the other part, those two 2x4s two connecting the uh, front and rear cross members, they're just held on with uh, some pocket hole screws. So I'm going to dig out my uh, impact and, and be able to get up under there with the, uh, with the square drive and get those pocket screws out. Once I got the pocket screws out, then I could take that cross member out and then I could just pull the whole thing out through the front. Now you can see that I'm adding some new front blocks and I'm stretching a 8 foot 2 by 6 across there. And the reason I'm putting these blocks out there is when I go to put the trailer uh, up under here, I have to have room for the tires at least to get past the front. On the back it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to be able to get all the way to the back, but 
uh, you will see that I moved those blocks back a little bit farther too. I needed to make sure I keep about 80 inches between the, the two front blocks. That way I'd have room for the tires. And you'll see a little later on the uh, as I keep working a little higher and uh, and drop it down on the front that uh, two by six starts to worry me a little bit. It starts to really bow because it's uh, stretched out pretty wide there, and I end up uh, adding a couple of two by fours to uh, give it a little extra support. You'll see that here in just a minute. You can see right here when I lower it down this time that 2x6 really starts to bow and it worries me a little bit so I grab another block to stick up under the middle there just to uh, catch it should it snap in two um, it won't fall all the way to the ground. You can see what I'm measuring there is to make sure that there's uh, enough room for another 8 inch block and now I've got it uh, two block high in the front and again when I start dropping it down that 2 by 6 is really worrying me so I'm making sure I keep the jack under it or I'll have a block stuck under there just in case. Now you can see I'm getting ready to prepare the the two by fours. I'm taking the screws out that I'd taken out a while ago, and I'm gonna put those on top of the two by six to give it a little extra strength. Those two by fours aren't eight foot long, so they don't go as far across, but uh, they did provide enough support to make really kind of beef that up where I felt comfortable that it was gonna hold it. Here you can see I'm jacking up the back end again and I keep measuring to make sure uh, when I've got enough room to get another block in there. Then once I get it high enough I just stick the block in and replace those uh, boards that are sitting on top. I had a couple of video clips go bad and the uh, autofocus on my camera started screwing up so I didn't even use two of the clips so that's why you see a sudden change where I now already have those two 2 by 4s setting on top of the 2 by 6 and that uh, seems like it's going to be a lot stronger on the front there so I'm not too worried about it now.
Okay, you saw me measuring there, and I'm getting really close. I think I can get that third block in there here in just a little bit. Not quite, just a little more. And now we've got the third block in on that side. And I'm putting the third block in on that side. So now I should be plenty high enough in the back because I'm three blocks high, that's 24 inches. And now I just need to raise the front up again and uh, get the third block on those. All right, here I'm raising it up the uh, for the last time to get the uh, the height in the front correct. I've got three blocks. Well, I have a block on the other side. I just used wood on this side, but I've now got it high enough. And you can see when I let it down, the board sags just a little bit, but it's much uh, better than it was. So I feel like I can get the trailer in there. And you can see why now I needed that 80 inch gap in the front of those blocks so I can get the wheels in and I put that in and then proceed to lower it down on the trailer. I started raising up the back so I could pull these blocks out, but then I realized that I couldn't go eight inches at a time because I could not get my jack uh, out once I lowered it down. There wasn't enough room for the jack to go all the way down, so I had to put the block back in and just take smaller increments to get the back end of the camper down on the trailer. I found the camper much harder to slide around on the trailer than I anticipated. So I ended up 
taking a couple of two by fours and sticking those across after I got those runners out. Here you can see I skipped ahead to that. And then I used a two by six propped up and then it was much easier to slide while it was just resting on those two by four. So now I've got it pretty much where I want on the trailer. I've got it far enough forward and now it's just a matter of jacking the back end up enough to where I can pull that two by four out, lower it back down to the trailer. And then move to the front. And there it is. It's all sitting on the trailer now, pretty much where I need it to be. I've just got to work on some brackets to uh, bolt the thing to the trailer. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so and make sure you hit the little bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. And until the next one, thank you very much for watching.